welcome back to Tom's Life. Today's Sunday special is Meat Loaf. The ingredients you need are beef mince, one green pepper, a bunch of spring onions, salt, ground black pepper, bread, cake cases, dry thyme, cayenne seasoning, milk, eggs and horseradish, these are mustard and milk and ground black pepper. First step, we're going to prep all the ingredients. I'm going to start off with the spring onions. First step, you first want to chop off your green bits because you're not using them and you just want to trim the ends like that once you have done that you just want to first start slicing them into little pieces we are just using the white part of the spring onions so I've chopped them like that and then you're going to get a little mixing bowl you place them in like that i show you again how I did that so you just chop off by to the, where the green bits are to all this bit and you trim the ends and you want to finally slice them Once you've done that, you place them in your mixing bowl and then you do the rest of your spring onions and then you will chop your green pepper, finely dice it and then you will fry them together. Next step, you want to prep your green pepper. You first chop your head off. You want to get all the cork out and the seeds, give it a good tap and get some of the white flesh out. Give it a good tap. Should look like that when you have done it. So next you want to chop your pepper in half, you put one to one side, you first want to, sl first want to slice it, not all the way through, don't forget them fingers, you don't want to cut yourself, then you turn it around and you finally dice it. into little pieces should have nice little pieces like that and you're going to place it in with your spring onions next you're going to crack two eggs you first want to give it a little tap you want to break it down the middle and catch all them shells and you just want to drop it in then you will do your other egg you just give it a little tap you get it in the middle and you just drop it in always be careful you don't put any shell in next step you want to pour half the milk into the bowl with your eggs. Once you have poured half the milk in, into, into the bowl with your eggs, you want to give it a good whisk. So you break up them eggs. Take a minute or two. Go 
to give it a good whiff. Next step, you're going to make some breadcrumbs. So I got a food plitter. And what you want to do is you want to place at least four pieces of bread in the hole. Then push it down. And then you're going to switch it on. It will get really loud. And you just want to make them into fine breadcrumbs. And then you just keep placing it in your bread. You push it down with the chute, the lid. So you just want to start off with four pieces. And if you need more breadcrumbs, you make some more. So you always keep some more bread out in case you need it. And now you just switch this on. Next step, you want to switch on the hob. And you want to set it to high. You can either use a wok or a frying pan. I'm using a wok. And you want to place it on your ring. You want that to heat up for a minute or two before you start frying your spring onions and green pepper to go nice and soft. Now your wok or frying pan should be nice and hot now. You're going to place your spring onions and green peppers in. And you want to start frying these for a few minutes so they go nice and soft. You want them to get some colour on them. And you just want to give them a little toss using a wooden spoon. Then what we will do is we will, we will fry these till they go nice and soft and a little bit of colour on them. Then we will let them cool down and then we will place them into our mixture to make our to make our meatloaf we're going to make little individual ones or you could make one big meatloaf next step you're going to preheat the oven so I switch it on using my bump on to tell me which one is the oven and you want to set this at 200 degrees let that heat up for a few minutes while you bring everything together. Next up, you're going to place your beef mince in your big mixing bowl. And with your hands, you want to start breaking it up. So once your spring onions and peppers are nicely cool, you want to pour them, scrape them all into the bowl with your mince. Get it all out. And then you just want to bind it in. Get it, mix it all in. Next step, you want to put a pinch of thyme in. And you also want to put a tiny little pinch of cayenne. And then you want to give this a good mix in. These will be your seasonings. Then you add in some salt and black pepper. And then you add in your eggs and milk. And then the bread. And the soy sauce. So it all soaks up together. 
So you just want to get all the way around the bowl. Next step, you add in some seasoning, starting with a good pinch of salt. And you want to add in some ground black pepper. And you want to give that a good mix in with your hands. Bind it all in. Press down. Give it a good squeeze so it all binds in. Use the back of your knuckles. And then give it a little bit of a pat. Just do this for a minute or two. Next step, you want to add in a little teaspoon of Dijon mustard. And you also want to add in a teaspoon of horseradish. Then with your wooden spoon, you want to give this a good bind in. You don't want to make them too hot if people don't like it too spicy. Next step, you want to pour in your milk and eggs. And you put a bit of soy sauce in, a splash. And now you want to give this a good stir in. So it all binds in. Next step, you want to add in your breadcrumbs. So you want to give it a good tap. Get it all out. You want to give it a good bind in. The breadcrumbs will give some, it will soak all the sauce up. So don't, don't worry if it looks a bit runny. The breadcrumbs will work in. And then when you cook it in the oven, it will all marinate nicely. So you just want to get all the way around the bowl. I'm making meat, meatloaf muffins, but you could just do one big one where you do the same mixture and put it in one big metal tray. It's up to you. I'm going to make at least 12 out of this. So next step, you're going to fill some cake cases on your tray, and then you're going to get all, you're going to get a spoonful of your filling, and you're going to place them inside the cases, just like that. You'll do a spoonful to start off with, and then if you've got any mixture left, 
you can either make some more or go around with them again so I get a spoonful and place it in just like that so I'm going to do at least 12 but it's up to you how many you want to make so you just place them in in the middle and you keep doing that So I've still got a bit of mixture left, I'm going to make a meatloaf like in a tray. So what you've done, if you've got any mixture left, you want to grease, grease the tray with a little bit of butter. And then you want to place it in. And then you just want to give it a little pat into a nice little shape. So we've done two we've done two versions. We've just done a normal meatloaf and then we've done mini meatloafs. And finally, you want to place them in the oven to cook for 20 to 25 minutes. So I'm placing them in the oven on the top shelf. And then I'm going to place my other one underneath. Then you close the door, let them cook for 20 to 25 minutes. Hope you enjoy making these meat loaves. And don't forget to hit the like button, share to all your friends, and hit that subscribe button. And enjoy and thank you. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe, more videos coming soon.